Alright, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. So, in this video, we are on Big Sand MX. Um, I've not looked at any pictures or anything, I've not even touched the track yet. This is my first view of the track, basically. Um, and yeah, we're just going to be basically seeing what the track is like. It's called Big Sand, so I'm assuming there's going to be some massive jumps around here somewhere. So, we're just going to basically hit everything wide and see what we can do. Can we trip up here? Oh, that's a big double. So far, I've hit everything like good. Oh my. Also, this is my first time on the game in about three days. Oh, this is my first lap of anything in about three days. So, if my corner and everything's a bit dodgy, then. <laughs> you know, you know what? What's this little corner jump? Okay, two little corner jumps, get some speed. And uh, yeah, so I've got brand new graphics on the KTM now from uh, Blitzko 327. Uh, they actually look sick. I actually really like them. And then a new model swap from Frankie. Uh, oh, that is not where the track goes. Oh, I landed it. Yeah. But yeah, this new model swap so it's got the little the little get on the front. It's got the it's got like a detailed what's it called? Like a fuel tank cap, uh, bar pad, aquapubic pipe. It just looks sick all around, really clean. It's the same model as what uh, like Chase X and all that have. Like same bar pad, it's got the disc cover. Oh, blimey. Land it, that flip. Uh, don't know if we can see it if we crash on the right side. No. Sorry to interrupt the video, but if you want to be coached with someone that podiumed at the first ever MX Works LAN event, then click the MXP coach link in the description and you can book a one on one session with me now. Back to the video. So I'm looking forward to the Supercross season. I think I'm going to be sick in. I don't. I didn't want to follow everyone straight away, like just by going on the gas uh, going on the KTM. That's why I was on the gas gas for a while. But it just got to the point where I was having so many issues in races and I was throwing away so many races just from like f having front end issues. Like the front end just kept tucking on the gas gas. No matter what I did, I had my uh, suspension sponsor Austin Crank, uh, the Pro Precision factory suspension. It was making me setups and I tried so many setups. They, they were good, like they were working fine. But like they'd work on one track and then I'd go to another track and it was horrible. And so I had so many different setups for the gas gas and I couldn't, I just couldn't get it to do what I wanted to do. So I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm going to try the gas gas, uh, I'm going to try the KTM. So I went into a few lobbies on the KTM, um, pretty much won all the races, had no front end issues and I've had one suspension for about a week and I've not had to change anything on it. So it's like, do I stick on a bike that I really want to ride, like the, like the gas gas? Do I stick on a bike I really want to ride, I really like the look of it, but now I'm losing races, I'm having issues and the game's not as enjoyable? Or I just just follow everyone else and just ride the better bike. So I think, honestly, that's what I'm just going to have to do for now, is just stick to the KTM for a little bit. I just had enough of so many, like I had enough of just all the issues I was having with the gas gas. It might just be a me thing, maybe it's the way I ride the bike. But yeah, I just... I just couldn't get to do what I wanted to do. I could never feel comfortable on it. I could never scrub it and throw it around. I never felt confident coming into corners or anything. And you, you, you can't be quick in this game if, you, if you're not confident in the bike. So, basically I chose the bike that I felt the most comfortable on and that's the KTM to be honest. So, looks like we're just gonna be following everyone else. Um, the new OEMs, um, I believe they're coming up for Supercross, I assume. I don't see why they bring them out afterwards. Um, but yeah, I'm an OEM tester now, so I've been trying out the new OEMs. New Gas Gas feels good, but it's not a big enough change, I feel like, to go back to it. I don't, because it's not like a new OEMs, it's more of just like helping some issues that they've got. So it's more of just an improvement patch than like all new OEMs. So I still feel like the KTM will be the bike to go to. Um, so yeah, I'm almost like I could just be sticking to the KTM. And also, everyone else is on it. So like, there's get we're getting model swaps made for it, we're getting graphics made for it, and it was just sort of the bike that we were getting everything for. So it's just sort of worth going to it. Like just, you know, getting new things for it, you might as well go to it. Um, but yeah, so that's the reason why I'm on the KTM. Uh, but this track is actually really fun. I've just been running laps on it talking and, you know, it's not really a struggle. It's got some really big jumps in it as well, which is nice. I'm going to see if I can launch this. Hit this triple. Yeah. Yeah, there's some really big jumps. This is like the biggest like, transfer sort of jumps I think I've ridden in a while. 
some of these like big corner ones as well. I was on uh, Chemiseville the other day, uh, yesterday I think it was. No, not yesterday. I played the game yesterday. Um, I've got the new FC24 FIFA, so that's the reason I've not played the game. If I'm being completely honest, <laughs> I've just been banging that game out. Um, but oh, oh, okay, no mind. Is that a free ride? Looks like there's some free ride bits around. Um, I forgot what I was even talking about now. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, I was talking about um, Chemiseville. So yeah, I was riding Chemiseville a few days ago. Um, on the KTM and it felt good. There were a few big jumps in there, but I think these jumps are bigger, like a lot bigger. Chemiseville is a very flowy track. It's very nice to, you know, be smooth, say low on some jumps. On this one, it's just full of booers. So if you enjoy jumps and you enjoy do doing big whips and big oppos and stuff, then give this track a go. This track's really fun just to hop on and, you know, chill. It's not a hard track, it's not gonna take you long to learn. The hardest part to learn for about a track is, you know, what jumps to launch and what jumps to scrub. These ruts are nice as well. These ruts really like hold you nicely. I forgot actually what this jump is, so I'm just gonna launch it. Oh, it's this one. Okay, and then we can launch this one as well. Ooh. Launch it, triple it. Oh god, that was not as launchy as I thought it was gonna be. Let's go in third person and let's run some laps in third. So you guys can watch me absolutely throw the KGM round. I scrub about this, and you can see the models a bit more as well. You can see the pipe. Nice acro pipe that we got on there. I'm not very good in third person though. <laughs> Just don't. I'm not very good at cornering, but it looks. There's no doubt it looks this. Oh god. Whoa. There's no doubt it looks the best in third person. The game just looks really good in third. Stay nice and low for the corner jumps. We've got another little corner one here. Pinned around the corner. Nice little little oppo. And then this is the corner one. Yeah, the little steezy corner one. Okay, I've jumped in that a little bit. Land on the road. There we go. I'm on a uh, supercross suspension as well, by the way. I have one suspension for this game, that's it. Oh god. I I was looking at the left side, like, should I gone up that? So I was just sort of moving over to the left without even realising. Should we go front backflip? Double backflip? Well, not double, but two in a row. Three in a row. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Bring out the end of freestyle. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, God. So I can do three backflips in a row, but I can't do a corner. Let's launch it out of this. Then we've got the triple. Around this corner. Stay nice and low. Throw it in the rut. Nice and wide. Oh. <laughs> Just have a little wide on the whole thing. Alright, then we can scrub this. Launch this. Okay. Scrub this. Wide all the way around. This is like a nice little oppo jump. No. Yes. Right, we'll try and uh, send a huge oppo over this. Okay, so we don't offer over here, guys. We just do 360s because we're sitting there that huge. But I tried to do a big up over, but I just wanted to spin around. What's that jump over there? I can't remember, like, off my heart already which track it, like, which jump is which. So, oh, it's okay. So we scroll at this. Oh, it's this jump. Let's see if we can do a little steezy one. Nope. Yeah, not counting that as an upper. Break tap. Nice. I want to get a nice oppo somewhere, but I can't seem to find the best jump for it. Okay, just didn't want to go. Let's do a little, like, hip. Hip oppo. Oh, that's pretty mid, to be honest. I'm doing the most mid oppos ever right now. Well, this track is... Oh, I've forgotten what it's called again. Uh, Big Send MX, I think it is. I'm pretty... Oh, like, Night Percentage, it's Big Send MX. It is free on MC Mods. Uh, if I remember to put it in the description, then it will be in the description. If it isn't, then go to MC Mods, and it's just um, Big Send MX. It'll probably be on one of the front pages. Um, but yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.